into Makashi, mm -hmm. right? And we're thinking about one on one, right? <coughs> We've got these dyna dynamics. We talked about them before, right? Where this is forward, and this is what we were talking about on Wednesday, okay? So the dynamics are weapon arm, dominant leg, are zone two and zone five ahead, all right? And generally speaking, that's where we want to keep it, right? <clears throat> out here like this. So the further, the further out out here like this, the better, right? Right. Now we don't want to stay out here because obviously we can't do anything to each other, right? So what we have to do is we have to get in there, and for that we need this type of footwork right here. Okay. <clears throat> now. How we, how we are parrying is also important. So, as you see here, when I went here like this, okay, the reason you're late uh -huh. is because, because I did that. Well, yeah, yeah, it's because, again, you're kind of going on the shicho uh -huh. feeling of receiving blows, taping them, and, and bringing them back. Here, we're gonna learn about opposing blows, we're going to learn about, you know, keeping distance, all of that kind of thing. So when you come in and you, and you come, come toward me, you see, I'm not just and turning it over and doing all this stuff. I'm keeping it right in here, right? Go ahead. And, right, and I can usually. Now, you see, I'm, I'm here like this. When you disengage, and you see, now you feel very cramped, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Now there, of course, is where we get all that kind of stuff in. But that's a good, a good uh, thing to remember, too, is that you don't want to give up ground. Right. right? <clears throat> so when you come in to, to, to advance on me, uh -huh. And you keep coming, right? I can. Okay, uh -huh. wait till you get in here. But notice my blade stays out here so that if I go like that, it can't happen. Mm -hmm. you know? Boom, good. You see, you push that way, you go up into uh -huh. a new moon, that will protect you. Good. You see? And so all I have to do is keep this kind of cone going right here. Now, of course, your hand becomes a target, uh -huh. right? <laughs> and so that's why you have to keep it moving here like this, right? The other thing that you want to do, though, because we're just pairing, I'm not throwing any uh -huh. real, real attacks at you yet, right? Just getting used to see very little movement I can go up to here to, to if you come overhead right right there and there uh -huh. you see so there's lots of there's lots of opportunities good All right okay okay now Let's say he, he then goes for a thrust here. Oh, okay. Ooh, there's that right there. Chinese we call it cloud sword. Coming up over anything that goes past the face is called cloud. You know, it means to obscure or what have you. So, or I guess you could say like a blind sword or something like that. Because the idea is that you thrust it. I made a dodge, whoa, and then I kind of blind can return back to where it was. Good. Right. Okay. Now you can see this in historical styles, like in rapier. In certain styles, they get way down here like this, so they can really, uh -huh. right, and they can get a lot of movement without even really, you know, stepping. And I'm really talking about. Right, 
really, really low. Stuff like that. So <clears throat> that's an important thing with blade work. With footwork, what you need is good, solid, yep, hut slides back and forth. <laughs> and there you go. The more I can get your blade to come, to go up like this, the closer I can get to you, right? And the and and the, the better. Good. Wow. Ooh, yeah. <laughs>
Ooh, see? Okay, so now that's not really sparring or anything like that. It's more like rallying in a racket sport or something like that. Just letting the thing kind of go back and forth, right? But you can see there's lots of this going on there. If we start getting more into the, the, the free play, that comes out. Now, of course, when you practice it by yourself, you practice it in sundown, okay? And those are your, you know, guards, your footwork, your spheres, all, all the same thing. So I think about when I'm going backwards, I can think about parry. When I'm going forwards, I can think about moving forward or uh, striking. Okay, so when I'm here, whew, I generally want to want to attack as I advance, right? So that there's something protecting me, right? I can change it when I'm when I'm uh, defending. If he's coming in on me and I'm defending, I can change the rhythm and go into that, right? Which is go slow, up, down, here. You see here because I, I, I good I know kind of where the next one's going to come from right so anytime I'm in here like this you see instead of going here I go I can I can dodge back a little bit <clears throat> okay but the point is is that as he goes forward I generally want to pair it so Okay. Once I get advantage here, now it's good. Okay. And so that's those are the things that we're we were kind of looking for. So in some dog, we are taking that type of thing. Level one, the student level, is really really simple, where it's hut slides back and forth, right? Cross steps there. Okay. Cross steps are most often used on the retreat. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you're like retreating quickly. Okay. Um, going forward like this does have its purpose, but it's a little bit more advanced. At, at the first stage, we'll still we'll stick with hut slides and cross steps, mostly going back. Okay. You can, of course, go forward, go in a circle, all that kind of thing. But at first, start with the hut slides, pivots. So here, pivoting on the front foot, pivoting on the back foot, switching, right? There you go. And it's just, you try to favor your dominant foot forward. This, this particular posture, or attack attack stance there, okay? Now, as long as things are like your knee here is good, your knee here is good, point this toe forward, right, like that, various changes in posture don't matter too much, right? Like if you want to assume one of the Italian rapier guards, that's fine if you want to, but those joint dynamics have to stay the same. Right, there to there. It's not really that much.